It's David Daniel Ducker here, and today I want to talk about my favorite writing exercise. An exercise to improve your writing. And I think this exercise improves your skill set and your writing uh, almost better than anything else, any other exercise. Now, what will improve your writing the most is, you know, reading a lot, different authors, good authors, is studying the craft, is um, writing a lot, practicing and practicing editing and rewriting and revising and dev edits and line edits. But those are not exercises. This is just a pure skill exercise. So that's what I'm talking about today. So what you want to do is think of a story, even if it's a basic story, a premise, you know, beginning, middle, and end, whatever you want it to be. Um, think of any story in your head. Pick something you're, you want to write in long form. If, or pick your favorite movie and you're going to do a pastiche of your favorite movie or your favorite novel. So write that story in 10 pages. Pace yourself so that it's about 10 pages. You know, give or take a page. Maybe it's 9, maybe it's 11. Um, but write it in approximately 10 pages, beginning, middle, end. So how much do you need to shrink or expand that story and that narrative that from your head onto the page to get it to 10 pages? That's part one of this exercise. Part two, take that exact same story, take your, your 10 pages, and now I want you to condense it down to five. How can you tell this exact same story in five pages instead of 10 pages? What do you need to get rid of? What do you need to drop? What do you need to cut um, to get to five pages? Maybe it's four pages, maybe it's six pages, but just to cut it approximately in half, uh, how, what do you have to do? And practice doing that. So that's part two. Now part three of this exercise, because it is a three-part exercise, is take this story, this exact same story, which is now five pages, uh, or take the 10 page version, it doesn't matter, and now write it in 20 pages. So you either need to now double the 10 page version, or you need to uh, quadruple the five page version, it doesn't matter which you do. So what do you need to add? Beginning, middle, end. What do you need to do to stretch it out, to build it up? Uh, to get it to 20 pages. Do you need to add elements? Uh, do you need to just change the way that you write in your prose style? How many elements do you need to add? Could you add another character, uh, right? And that is basically the exercise, is to practice taking one story and knowing how to shrink it and knowing how to blow it up and to grow it because this will help you understand pacing and exposition and structure very, very, very well. You, as a writer, will have different mediums that you're trying to fit into, whether that medium is a novel or a short story or a trilogy of novels or maybe even a series of novels uh, or you know, what do they call it, flash fiction. Maybe that's your, your medium, but you need to have the skills to suit your story to your medium. You need to know how to write an outline and to write a story that will be a novel or that will be a short story. And you know how long it's going to be before you start. This is a powerful and vital skill. And you also... Uh, should have that ability to change on the fly as you're going. You know, if you write draft one and you end up overwriting it by 200% and you're like, well, I thought it would be um, 80,000 words and it's actually uh, 160,000 words. So if you have this skill, you can revise and go back and shrink it very easily. And you can salvage that story without pulling your hair out and having a nervous breakdown. 
Um, because when you have to cut 80,000 words, that's not the time to learn this skill. You want to learn this skill now so that when you have a problem like that, it's an easy fix or an easier fix, right? And, and it's the same the other way. You know, if you think you have a novel and um, you end up writing a novella and it's only 40,000 words and you're like, well, gosh, you know, I need 80,000 words and I've only written 40,000 words and um, how do I handle that? If you understand structure, it's easy. You can say, I need to expand act one. I need to expand act three. I need to expand act two. How do I do each of those things? How do I add exposition? How do I add subplots? How do I add characters? Uh, without losing quality, how do I bulk it out? Because you don't want filler. You want more content. Uh, and just like in, uh, in the other case, when you're shrinking it, you don't want to rush your pacing. You don't want to say, well, I need it smaller, so I'll make it faster paced. You could do that. That could be the solution, but it could not be the solution because there's such a thing as too fast of a pacing. Just like there's definitely such a thing as too slow of a pacing. I have read novels that should have been short stories, and I hated it. Uh, and I've, I've read novels that should have been a trilogy of novels. And I, I like, I kind of like that actually, but it's not always appropriate. Not everybody will, not every publisher will, right? Just like I've read short stories that could easily be stretched into novels easily. I could do it. Um, and I've read short stories that were way too fast and they should have been a novel because it's, it's just chopped and slammed and crammed and squeezed and until it's no good. It's just no good anymore. Um, if, if they had taken their time and made it a novel, then it probably could have been good, right? But their job wasn't to write a novel. Their job was to write a short story. So they failed. Uh, and I don't want you to fail. So learn these skills. Practice this exercise. Understand structure, pacing, exposition, uh, and, and pathos, and logos, and all the good things that you need. I never talk about logos because I'm so like logically based anyways, but basically that's just like not having plot holes. Cause sometimes when you stretch the plot out, you're adding try fail cycles and they all need to make sense. Or sometimes when you shrink it, you're removing the try fail cycle. And now it doesn't make as much sense anymore. So you've lost some logos, right? If you've lost a character, you might lose pathos. Uh, if you add a character, um, then you might lose pathos as well if they're distracting from other characters. You need to understand each of these elements and how they fit and how they can fit so that you can do what your story needs. Because your story needs quality, but it also needs structure. And that structure uh, is the length. You know, how long does your publisher want this to be for you? Or where are your maximum returns on investment? Because novels sell for a lot more than short stories. So most authors today want to write novels because it is the most lucrative thing. Uh, or better yet, a trilogy, but you, you can't always get a trilogy published. You know, you, it's easier to get a novel published. So I think that most writers should aim for a novel length. But uh, understanding how to increase that length and decrease that length without sacrificing quality is a tool every writer should have. You know, I want you to take your short story and stretch it into a novel and make more money and still have it be quality. I want you to be able to take your trilogy of novels and shrink it down to a novel and actually find an agent and a publisher. So uh, do this exercise. It will save you, it will help you. Because then, uh, as I said, when you're in the middle of a project and you need this skill, you won't have to learn the skill the hard way because you took an hour and invested in your skills before you got to a crisis point. So do that, do this exercise, write the same story at three different lengths, five pages, 10 pages, 20 pages. 
uh, and, and see if it does not help you improve. Uh, and of course, as I said, reading and studying how to write and the craft of writing and also practicing writing and editing and drafting, and dev editing, and line editing, those are the three things that will improve your skill set uh, probably the most. But this exercise, uh, I think, deserves honorable mention. That's why I'm doing its own video. This should be my number one video. If, if nobody watches any other videos, watch this video because I think this exercise is gold. So in the comments below, what's your favorite writing exercise? And what do you think of this one that I just outlined? Shoot me that, uh, perhaps as a video response. And until I see you again, it's David Daniel Ducker signing off.